Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Um, it's been a while, sorry for... I had some <coughs> issues with the free time basically to record this video. So um, back again, I didn't give up. Uh, thank you for all the encouraging messages I received. In the meantime, and let's get started. Um, we will try to keep this video short, but many will follow in the following days because I plan to speed up all of this while I have uh, extra time. So we uh, we we left off with the buttons and uh, making our <coughs> team um, handling different buttons and different classes. So. In order to um, actually make this button useful and not just outputting a bunch of classes, uh, we need to connect it with the ATF stuff we have um, we have in our team. So, if you remember, we have uh, two um, call to action button on the uh, design, and we need to fetch the actual code um, ATF field to uh, output something there. So, in order to do that. We uh, <coughs> we have two approach we can use. I will show you both because the uh, the way um, you can you can uh, way to uh, call PHP stuff in Blade since it's compiled. So all this <coughs> file is not actual PHP. It will be compiled to actual PHP once Blade compiler uh, pass through it. So. To use actual PHP uh, code, you need to either do old-fashioned old fashioned, um, PHP that, and then you can do whatever you want here. So button, button equal get field. Uh, you know what I'm planning to do. So that's the one way to uh, add PHP, but it's uh, it's kind of defeat the purpose of using blade because we all have all these nice if and if or whatever blade templates uh, stuff and then we just jump back to old-fashioned php so it's not nice <laughs> if nothing else so uh, the other way uh, if you just need one line of php is to use blade <coughs> blade uh, directive php so it's the same so you can add button is equal to get field button and then this variable button would be a variable here so um, that's another way to do it and uh, the third way and uh, what basically we should be doing here is since this is a header and um, to clean up our uh, uh, view and everything, uh, we will use <coughs> the actual uh, com components and composers uh, stuff. So we will create a new composer that will be just for the uh, header. And all the files and every variables we need in header, we will, we will contain there. Um, it will be just a simple example it's, it, it, be, it would be fine if we just use this for two buttons. It doesn't really make any difference, but it will be a nice example to show you how you can pass variables to different uh, views while maintaining all other views with their own clean uh, version of um, variables. So uh, let's get started. Uh, to activate the uh, header um, composer, we can either make file here manually, so new PHP file, but <coughs> we will incorporate the um, the tool we already have, Acorn, and uh, we can create it using that. So we need to pass the uh, command vp acorn make composer header. Remember to <coughs> put the, the name of the actual um, composer should be uh, uppercase first letter. So once once we do that, uh, we need to 
go to our our, <laughs> our file and see what what we have. So we have a new uh, new uh, file called header, which will, <clears throat> as its name, uh, apply uh, pass all the uh, data to the to the view header. So so how do we uh, <clears throat> tell him the composer to just give us uh, give us the uh, that variable inside the header. In the, inside this views protetic static variable, uh, we can define whatever we want here. So we we should um, we should add a sections header. I will explain now why sections and why header. So if you study our team folder structure. We have this app folder, we have researches, views, and then we have this section and inside there is a header. So the composer is clever enough to ignore all the all the other other uh, folders in the root, but go directly to view view uh, folder. So we need to just pass the sections header and ignore the blade PHP part. So what will this do? So now, uh, whatever variable we add here, return um, the GitHub uh, is again. Um, so yeah, I need to disable it for now, just so it doesn't confuse us. So um, we will pass some dummy variable just to show how this works. Dummy is equal dummy. Oh, let's make it hello world as good old fashioned programmer example. So what does this does? Uh, we can now do do uh, the blade. Uh, blade will pick up from this file, this dummy, <laughs> dummy name. And you will now in inside the header will have a variable called dummy. Yeah, sorry, um, it shouldn't be under the button because our button component is doesn't output what we put here. So it should be uh, up here. If we refresh um, and show the uh, the actual, sorry, um, show the actual page, now we see this hello world here. So this, <coughs> this variable now is now available only under uh, section header file. It, it will not work anywhere else. Um, to prove this, I can just put this is footer and try to output the dummy dummy variable. And if we uh, now look at our uh, one, it will show us one und undefined variable dummy. So it is available only under header. Why is this useful? Because you can scope the variables to ex uh, to the part where you need them. So you you won't need to be worried about will something will override my variable or um, will it get lost <laughs> somewhere. So that's one way to um, to uh, get the variable, and we will use this to get these these two. Um, these two button, uh, we will fetch the ATF field there and uh, pass it to the header. Okay, so uh, we need to remind ourselves we need these two buttons, right? Um, so we have a field uh, in our team options, if you remember where we started to make team options <clears throat> where we add bo both fields. So now we will add um, another, another, sorry, another, another field, add a link where we will, um, where we will uh, put the TTA button one uh, and as a parameter, we will pass the array where labels will be P 
speak the uh, sorry TDA button one and uh, we need another one which will be CTA button two um, we will <coughs> make this night later uh, so the team option will have tabs and everything but we are just starting so I always like to start simple and then if something start to be over complicated uh, I divide it or refactor it or move it to multiple files um, don't overthink uh, when you're doing team or programming in general it, it's not good um, good idea to um, overthink stuff because you will spend way more time doing something and then in future maybe you will not even use those options you added as maybe something is uh, fail proof once you get an actual uh, error problem uh, on the site you can always add this logic later so we have two button we have everything uh, and now um, if we uh, go to the uh, <coughs> actual uh, local site, let me show you. So <coughs> we are on site. If we go to team options, we now have the, those two buttons, nice and easy. So we can just point them one to home, one to uh, hello world, just just to see does it work <coughs> or not and um, have this outputted on the front end so we did we did do that but we didn't um, actually add inside our header and, 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 and buttons we just have these dummies so we can call it TTA and get get the that field we created just now get field and we need to call for selector and we need to name it the same uh, just to remind you the same name we have here so it need to be the exact same or it will not uh, it will not work so we need to pass this and we need to also pass the option uh, option parameter because else <coughs> the ACF uh, would not know where to look for this exactly and uh, we have TTA2 which will be a uh, button 2 uh, now the naming is not not super uh, I mean the naming is important but but uh, you all, all you need to take care of, since this is copied just to header we can just not call it CTA or just we can just call it button and button 2 and, and it will work regardless do you have button and button to somewhere else uh, in, in the code because it, it's scoped just to header um, so let's let's try this uh, we now have this um, composer that will return as the, the button uh, variable we have the uh, the actual header uh, and, and everything and we can let's just make one button and see see will it work so just to test we can we can now type since we have this variable we can now type an href to be the actual variable of button and since if you remember atf field are basically an array of uh, i'm sorry not link but url array uh, um, the, the link field will return the relay with title url target and everything and uh, we can um, we can use this to actually uh, an output output the button uh, content button title now <coughs> why this <coughs> uh, this symbol here uh, because um, if we didn't put this uh, the blade would compile this this text we put here uh, basically variable it would just compile this as a text so it doesn't know it's a variable so this this sign here uh, explain to blade that this is basically an PHP variable and it should use uh, the 
value of that variable, not the text itself, which is written here. So uh, this is, um, you could also go with uh, uh, any command in PHP. So basically, um, okay, not, let's not overdo it. Um, this is a URL, this is title. And if we uh, now, now go, um, to the live uh, site, we will see that our button, our button, uh, it does has a link to home page. You see, it, it has links, but the title is not there. What? Yeah, so it 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 output the um, not our uh, title, but it does output our link. So why not title? Because if we switch to uh, code in our uh, button component, it see uh, it's outputting type classes regardless what the user will add, but to uh, basically uh, use what user is added, we can just add slots. So slot will uh, output the actual uh, content user uses. So we have now home button. Yeah, we are making good progress here. So, <clears throat> We can just add, uh, I'm sorry, I opened the wrong header. So we can just add another button here with the uh, button two. And uh, we are, we are there. Uh, it will, it will show the hello world button as well. So <clears throat> this code is basically just using another variable and uh, another URL. And that's it basically. We can I could show you the the same way doing the PHP um, Blade template, but I don't think you will you will figure it out. Try it on your own to see. So we have uh, our buttons uh, completed. I will stop now because I'm planning to uh, do the styling again much more uh, in the to, uh, tomorrow episode. I'm planning to push another episode uh, just about uh, <laughs> uh, in more regular frequencies. So keep it short for now. Uh, we have our output. We learned a lot about blade uh, templating and uh, how to pass the variables to uh, template. And I think that's more than enough for this episode. Uh, next episode is, as I said, uh, tomorrow after this one. And uh, I'm planning to record at least two free or tomorrow <laughs> so it will be more regularly output than it was uh, just to kind of um, say i'm sorry for not pushing anything these two weeks three weeks bye for now see you in the next one